South Delta and Amory High School returned to spring sports after a few weeks away in the aftermath of the March 24th tornado. As 16 WAPT's Bradley Davis reports, the teams aren't just surviving, they're thriving and putting their cities on their backs. Stupid. My first thought was we're not finna do nothing no more. It's over with. Two cities that had already lost so much, almost lost sports. We had a lot of really good memories out here on this field. And to see it gone, it was kind of, it was heartbreaking. Somebody said something, man, you played your last game here last week. And I was like, and that's when it really hit me. And on those teams are athletes who lost everything. Feel everything sucking us back down the hallway. I thought the whole house was going to collapse on top of us. That's the only thing that was going through my mind was like, that I love my family and I wish like I'm glad that my mom and sister weren't here. And others who lost more than everything. She was, I was kind of like Coach. The entire time seen she's smiling. I can't never say how much I remember about it because she was all my, she was all I ever had. When these tragedies strike and sports seem unimportant. Playing baseball wasn't really going through our mind. Is when they are the most important. That two weeks where we didn't have that, we didn't, we didn't have that to get away from reality. Reality was there the whole time. Those students start emailing me, they start emailing their coaches, so we had to do something. We got out there and we actually found out that a sport can really bring a town back. It brought so much courage into it. South Delta High School, already defying the odds by bringing back spring football and track after the tornado. We really don't have a track, but we run around the high school fields. So we had to move everything up here. We didn't even have, we didn't have a circuit to run around. So it was already difficult then. The tornado made it more difficult. Bad conditions made worse, but it didn't stop the team from making school history. South Delta High School. With training on a square grass field behind South Delta Middle School. Fight for a state championship in track, which we never had here before. It don't take one person to, you know, raise a person. It takes a village, and we was all, we were that village, and we just did what we had to do. I hear some of them say all the time, it's that last lap. <laughs> Hey, Rolling Ford is on our back. Hey, let's finish for Rolling Ford. Oh In three and a half hours northeast, Amory Baseball dealt with its own tornado aftermath, continuing its title defense while protecting their home without a home field. My whole team came to help me out, and it meant a lot to me and my family and everybody that was here helping. It was just like, wow, like his whole team is here helping everybody and going around the town. With everything that was gone. Some more rain and just stuff was, was ruined. The support's been overwhelming. We were needing catcher's gear and baseball. Any baseball coach or team all throughout the state has offered or did something. People cheer through sports, cry through sports, stay sane One, two, three, run. Run through sports. Being able to go out there and see all of them play again just gave me a break to get away from, or a time to get away from everything here. It helped me get through it faster, a lot, a lot, good, a lot better, so because it was something that I like to do all the time. So when I had them, it take my mind off it a lot. And when there's nothing else, they're raised by sports. And every time I ever see her, she said, Cole, you're taking care of my boy. And I said, yeah, he going to be all right. Hey, he going to be all right. Hey, Cole, that's my only boy now. You got to take care of him. I said, I'm going to take care of him. I'm, I'm going to make him be a man and, and grow him up. And, and we always talk and he laughed. And she always talked about her son. And it's her son's love for football that's pushing him forward. And while hands work to heal the landscape, sports <laughs> will work to heal hearts. Right now we may be going through, through a storm right now, but the sun going to shine and, and we're we going to come back strong. Reporting in Amory and Rolling Fork, I'm Bradley Davis, WAPT Sports. Amory Baseball is in the third round of playoffs without playing a true home game. And Jonathan Nicholson will continue playing in the sport his mom loves on the next level at Mississippi Delta Community College.